Namaste. Welcome back to day 10 of our 13 days yoga for a strong core challenge. Today's practice, we're going to be mainly paying attention to our side body strengthening, obliques, as well as full body flexibility, getting a little deeper into psoas stretch as well. So let's begin our class starting in table top position. Coming to hands and knees, palms wide open, fingertips gripping, pressing your feet and your shins. Gently rocking your full body side to side. Very nice, and forward and back. Send your hips all the way to your heels, big toes together, touch. Resting fully in child pose. Before we strengthening our body, let us know that you're also disciplining your mind. So whenever things are getting too much, please come up with your wise decision. You can always take a break or you can push yourself a little bit more. It depends how you feel today. So take full breath in. Open mouth, release it out. Begin to waking up to your breath and stay in this present moment with me. Inhale, coming forward to table. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feeling your full body gentle stretch. Stay another breath. Coming forward to plank position, one vertebra at a time. Coming forward, shoulders in line with your wrists. Exhale, make your way back to downward facing dog. Begin to waking up to your body, waking up to your core. Inhale, coming forward to plank. Exhale, back to downward facing dog. See if you can make your spine moving one vertebra at a time as it's coming forward. And also as you're shifting back, feeling your spine waving back. Stay full downward facing dog. Big breath in through your nose. Another cleansing breath out. Releasing your knees, hips back to child pose. Keep your knees, thighs together, touch. Come up to sit it on your heels, extending arms out to T-shape. Bring your thumbs in and fingers curl, strong fists like this, and go ahead rotating your wrists a few rounds. Belly drawn in here, shoulders relax, chin slightly tucked down. Very good. Opening up to your fingers and push your palms upward to the sky. Exhale, circling your arms behind your back. Let's interlacing your fingers, pressing your fist, lifting up to your chest, gazing up. Exhale, hinging deeply into your hips, belly to thighs, and resting your chest, head and neck relaxed down. Gently squeezing in between your shoulder blades. And if you have a little more space, rocking your shoulders side to side. Very nice. Softly releasing your arms down and extending straight forward. On your fingertips, elbows straight, coming forward to table. Exhale, one vertebra at a time, using cow spine back to child pose. Let's go twice more, moving cat forward. On your fingertips, pressing through your fingertips. Exhale, back to child pose. One last round. Very nice. Slowly coming forward back to table. Let's press in your palms, tuck your toes under. As you push the ground, begin to engage your core a little more deeply, extending right leg, pushing all the way back. Feel the back of your neck long, feeling your lower belly thrown in. 
And as you exhale, point the toes. Let's bring the knee to your left elbow, awakening your obliques. Very nice. Three more like this. Inhale, extending straight back. Exhale, knee to your left elbow. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. One last round. Exhale, knee to your left elbow, hold, two, one. Bring your knee to your chest and step your right foot all the way forward. Lifting up to your back knee, come up to warrior two. Feeling yourself deeply grounded through your feet. And let's get your front leg straight, extending both arms up over your head, interlacing your fingers and turn your palms up toward to the sky. Feeling yourself longer and longer and bring your palms to the back of your neck. Lifting up to your neck longer and bend your front knee deeply. Big breath in. As you exhale, lower your front elbow toward to the knee and lifting back up. Whew, very good. Three more. Lower down. Come up. Two more. Very good. One last round. Excellent. Lower down and hold. Three, two, one. Bring your chest toward your thigh. Extending arms out to T-shape, please. And now turn your palms all the way straight forward. Extending arms straight forward and forward. Exhale, lower the hands down, turn your he back heel up, step back to plank, lower your forearms down. Ch check your feet about hip distance, push your heels a little forward, pressing through your forearms. And now we're going to take some twist, heels to the right side. Lifting up your heels up and twist to the other side. Feeling your strong obliques. Let's keep twisting. Ten. Very good. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Train your mind. Five. Four. Three. Two. Almost there. Don't give up. One. Heels up and hold. Three, two, one. Take a quick break. Child pose. Beautiful. Let's come in forward and back. Few rounds using cats and cows. Inhale, coming forward. Exhale, back to child pose. Push the mat with your palms. Twice more. Come back to your breath. One last round. Walking your hands all the way up to your thighs, sitting up tall on your heels. Arms out to T-shape, lengthening your spine. Exhale, right hand softly down, left hand goes over your head. Very nice. Coming back to the center, lengthening long. Exhale, left hand down, right hand goes over your head, feeling your side body. Coming back to the center, arms out to T-shape. Exhale, lower your hands down back to tabletop and let's moving on to the left side. Tuck your toes under, push the ground, back of your neck long again, extending left leg straight back. Keep your back nice and strong, front of your body strong. Point to your toes, big breath in. Exhale, let's bring the knee to your right elbow, obliques. Very nice, keep it up, three, inhale. Exhale, knee to your right elbow. Two more. Exhale, pull forward. One last round. Beautiful. Extending straight back and knee to your chest. Step it all the way forward. Take your time to come up to warrior two. And feeling yourself grounded through your feet. 
Very nice. Get your knees straight, arms up over your head. Let's interlace your fingers. Push your palms up higher. Belly in, tailbone down. Exhale, bring your palms to the back of your neck. Bend your front knee deeply. Ready for obliques again. Lower your elbow down toward to the thigh. Whoo, take it up. Three more just like this. Two more. Back knee straighter. One more. Lower your body down towards your thigh. Stay. Two. One. Turn your body towards your thigh. Arms out to T shape. And send your hands all the way close by your face. Stay. Three. Two. One, lower your hands down, turn your back heel up, and let's step back to plank and lower your forearms down again. Pressing through your forearms, shoulders relax. Use your entire body strength to stay, not just rely on your shoulders. And again, feet about hip distance. Let's take the twist again 10 times. Twist to the right, take it up. Twist to the left, take it up. Keep going. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, belly in, four, three, two, we're almost done, don't give up. And now heels up and hold, rocking forward and back. Three, two, and one. Let us take well-deserved child pose. Take full breath in, send your hips closer to your heels. And as you exhale, let's walk in both hands toward to the right side. Feeling this nice stretch through your left side body. If you have a little more space, place your left hand on top of your right hand and rest in your head and neck down. Very good. Walking back to the center, breathe in. Let's walking out to the other side. And again, if you find a little more space, place your right hand on top of your left hand and resting both shoulders down. Beautiful release, walking back to the center. Slowly coming forward to table and walking your hands all the way up to your hips. I'll be facing toward to you. If you need some padding for your knees, either you can double the mat like this or give some folded blanket for your knee support, please. From here, we're holding onto our hips and send your right leg to the side. Keep your knee in line with your hip, lower belly thrown in again, arms out to T-shape. Lengthening long, big breath in. As you exhale, let's gently push your weight toward to the right leg, releasing your arm down, Push your belly, chest turning up toward to the sky and bring your left hand comes close by your face. You can do any yoga hand gesture that you're working on in your practice. If you are not sure, you can come to Gyan Mudra. This will help you to focus right now and stay in this present moment. Let's stay two breaths. One more breath. Very nice. Slowly bring your spine back to the center and get your knees straight. Extending arms straight forward. Lower your bottom hand down and extending upper hand close by your face. Rolling both shoulders away from the ears. See if you can push your belly, chest forward and then turn your body up toward to the sky. We stay here to breath. One more. From here, your weight goes shifting toward to the bottom hand a little bit and creeping at the fingertips and peeling your back foot off of the ground. 
lengthening longer, big breath in. And now as you exhale, squeezing your obliques and elbow and knee, touch. That's one. We're going to do five more. Inhale, long extension. Exhale, elbow to knee. Don't move too fast. Use, control your body. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, three. Two more. We go one last round. Touch and hold. Three, two, from here. You may release your hands to catch your ankle and pull your knee really close to your chest. Rounding your spine, chin to the chest. And now on your next exhalation, you may push your hips forward, kick your foot back, lifting up your chest and gazing up. If your neck needs some break, look straight down to the bottom hand. We stay three breaths. Two, and one, beautiful, don't sling your leg, control, carefully release, lower your both hands down, make your way to plank position, your choice to take your vinyasa flow, or you can come down to rest in child pose. Or you can make your way to downward facing dog, take two breaths. Beautiful. Let's come down to Vajrasana. Sit it on your heels. Come up, arms up over your head, lengthening longer. Catch your right arm and gently pull up, rotating your wrist nice and big. Beautiful. Switch. Well done. And now lower your hands down back to your hips and lifting up to your hips up. And again, now facing toward to you. Okay, belly in, tailbone ever so slightly tucked down. And let's opening up to your left knee to the side. Knee in line with your hip, knee in line with your ankle. Ready to continue, arms out to T-shape. Your center line is getting taller and taller. And now as you exhale, gently hinging into your hip joint. Softly releasing your arm down, so don't resting on your shoulder. Keep on lengthening, ending your upper hand goes close by your face. And again, you can come to Gyan Mudra, Chin Mudra, or another mudra that if you want to try is Prana Mudra, breath hand gesture. So it looks like this. And then keep on lengthen. You can close your eyes, breathe into where you're feeling the most right now. Stay another breath. On your next inhalation, slowly come back to the center. Now knees straight, arms out to T-shape. And let's keep, continue to push your way forward, releasing your bottom hand down. And your upper hand comes again close by your face. Belly, chest, turn slightly toward the, to the sky and keep on lengthening your upper hand. We stay to... Say one more. Lengthening a little bit longer and now weight goes toward to the bottom hand, creeping at the fingertips so that will protecting your wrist and peeling your foot off of the ground. Find your balance, lengthening longer. Exhale, elbow and knee touch. Beautiful, let's continue five. Inhale, long extension. Exhale, Whoo, strong side body. Four more. Three more. Two more. Keep reaching to your maximum stretch. 
Exhale, elbow and knee touch. Well done. Now swing your hand down to catch your ankle and squeezing your belly, chin to the chest, rounding your spine. And now on your next exhalation, let's kick your foot back, push your belly, chest forward. Your choice, gazing up or gazing down. We say three breaths. Keep on breathing, one more. Beautiful, carefully releasing your foot down and make your way to vinyasa flow or your choice to take it easy in downward facing dog or child pose. Wherever you chose to be right now, Take a moment to come back to your breath. Inhale. Big sigh. Let it go. <sighs> come down to child pose with your knees wide open. Extending arms straight forward. Resting your belly, chest, and your shoulders. Stay on another breath. Before we lay down onto our back, pressing your forearms, strong fist, interlacing your fingers, and shifting your way back to forearm plank position. This is going to be our last push, so I want you to do your best. Feet about hip distance apart, engaging your full body core. Ready for twist, heels to the right. Take it up, heels to the left. Take it up, let's go, 10. Nine, eight, seven, doing fantastic, six, five, don't pike your hips up too high nor low too much, keep them nice and tuned, two more, one more, well done, now drop the knees down, pressing your palms and forearms, lifting up your chest up to Sphinx Pose. Beautiful. See if you can lift up your elbows up to feel a little deeper stretch through your belly. Keep pressing your feet and your thighs. Breathe in. And let's lower your spine all the way down. Arms extending straight forward, legs extending straight back. Lengthening longer. And now turn your body onto your back. Bend your knees, pressing your feet. Arms up over your head. Lengthening long. Exhale, bring your right knee close to your chest. Left leg straight all the way down. It feels so nice to finish with some spinal twist. So right now, take a moment to pressing your lower back, mid back in your wind releasing pose. Breathe in. Right hand down to T shape. Let's carefully twist toward to the left side. Stay here three breaths. Come back to the center. Right leg straight down, arms up over your head. And let's exhale, bring your left knee close to your chest. You can close your eyes, shoulders relaxed, chin slightly tucked down. Big breath in. Carefully twist toward to the right side. Very nice. Coming back to the center. Legs straight down. Arms up over your head. Lengthening as long as you could. 
And exhale, bring your both knees, close your chest. We're adding some rock and roll to massaging our spine to finish. Legs straight up, inhale. Exhale, Whew, bring yourself up. Let's go five, inhale. Exhale. Four more. Control the speed, one bottom at a time. Two more. One last round. Come up to seated, cross leg position. Now as we're sitting up tall, arms out to T-shape and turn your palms up and over your head. Bring your prayer hands down to your heart. Let us take a moment to just diving deeply into this beautiful sensation. Thanking to yourself for your practice and your dedication. And thank you so much for practicing with me, letting be your guide to the journey of yoga. I hope you're enjoying this core challenge with me. Please leave me a comment and let me know how your journey is going for you. Looking forward to seeing you on the next class. Have a beautiful rest of your day. Namaste.